Hey you, welcome back and Merry Christmas. Today, I'm going to show you a change you can make right away to your 2015 through 2019 Ford Transit, and it can have a significant impact to your health and the vehicle's heating and air conditioning longevity. So let me pop open that hood and show you the path that air takes from the outside to the inside of your van. You'll notice there are two plastic inserts on your hood or bonnet. One of these serves as air intake for the cabin, the other is just a dummy. Outside air flows in the vent and through a chamber that is concealed in the hood. Air is then routed through this grilled cover intake where it enters the fan that's located under the dash on the passenger side. The fan pushes the air through the heater core or the evaporator core or a combination of both depending on the temperature controls. And finally, the air ends up in the cabin through the venting system at a comfortable temperature. But what happens to that dust and debris that's small enough to make it through that grilled covered intake under the hood? Well, that's the job of a cabin air filter. And I'm betting if you didn't check yours, you probably don't have one from the factory. That's right, you heard me correctly. Ford did not include the cabin air filter with your purchase of the van. Not only is this stuff bad to breathe, but it can build up on the coils of your evaporator and render it useless after some time. The last thing you want to have to do is replace an evaporator. It's going to cost big bucks. And if you're a DIYer, it's going to be a long task. It basically requires you to remove the doors and the dash. So follow along and I'll show you what you need and how to install it. Start by opening the glove box and find the two tabs. With one or both hands, press the tabs in to release the glove box. Make sure you're holding the glove box because it will dump all your stuff on the floor. Now we have access to the fan and evaporator unit. That plastic rectangular door is where the cabin air filter should go. Press the outer tab toward the passenger side to release the access door. You can see that this particular van already has a cabin air filter installed. That is because when I was troubleshooting air conditioning problems back in 2020, I noticed that this particular van did not have a filter, and so I installed one then and have been changing it out ever so often. And like many other Ford Transit owners, you may find nothing there. This one looks pretty dirty, so it's time for a change. Inspect the fan and the filter area and make sure there's no loose dust or debris. Clean if needed. Grab your new filter. Here I'm using the EcoGuard filter with the part number XC11577 and I ordered this particular one from Amazon. Take note of the airflow direction indicator on the filter itself. However, it's really hard to mess this up because one of the corners of the filter is angled off to fit inside the housing there. You can see that back left corner. So it's really difficult to install this backwards. Give the filter a firm push on both of the corners where it's the most rigid. Reattach the access door. Simultaneously press both tabs of the glove box and close. Ah, a small job completed for a large peace of mind. That's gonna wrap this one up. Merry Christmas. Just remember, everybody needs a plan B. Cha-cha for now.